hey guys hi youtube and welcome back to my channel um thank you for subscribing thank you for clicking on the videos and thank you for watching today i'm gonna be doing a get to know me tag because most of you probably wonder who am i like i just come out of the blue and start vlogging so i put starting to put content out and y'all have no clue who I am so today I'm going to do the get to know me tag I do have some questions um, that I'll be answering so yes it's not a lot of questions but this is just like a short get to know me tag so you guys can know who I am and yeah um, also to everyone that have subscribed to my channel thank you so much it means so much to me um, to those who watch my videos, thank you. It means a lot to me. And I please beg you all to share my videos so we can get more traffic coming into the channel. And I'll just put out more content. And I'll try and be more creative with my content as well. So please don't forget to share my videos. Don't forget to like it. And then also please do comment what else you'd like to see from me. Because um, sometimes I just be running out of ideas. So... Yay, let's get into the get to know me tag. Okay, first question is, what is your name? So my name is Tiffany Langford, um, but now I'm known as Tiffany Bell. I don't want to say my other names because I feel like <laughs> you only need to know my first name. Um, so yes, Tiffany Langford is my real name before I got mar married and now I'm Tiffany Bell, Tiffany B in short. Um, on Instagram, I'm known as Afrobia. The reason I have that Instagram name is um, a friend. She always called me Afro because I used to have this big hair. And yeah, that's Afrobia. <laughs> and where are you from? So I'm from South Africa. I'm born in South Africa, raised in South Africa. I schooled in South Africa. I've lived in South Africa my whole entire life. 26 years of living I was in South Africa sorry I need coffee this is my cappuccino mm. so yes born raised in South Africa both my parents are South African so I'm South African I'm still South African I have not given up my citizenship yet I'm still contemplating and debating if I should give up my citizenship and personally I'm not ready <laughs> Um, what did you study and your occupation? So, I went to the University of Northwest, known as Book. I studied sports science, and that's my qualification is sports science. I studied for three years. Actually, three years and it was three and a half years because there was one module I just could not pass. It was called Biokinetics. That was the hardest module that I could not pass for some reason. No, the reason I couldn't pass it was because our lecturer was not from South Africa and he could not speak English or Afrikaans to save his life. So, uh, yeah, I started at the Pitt University. No, I, it's the Northwest University but the PIC campus in Potchefstroom. Um, what's your occupation? So, <laughs> uh, how do I put this? My occupation um, was a fitness instructor and Zumba instructor, group exercise instructor, personal trainer, and group X instructor. That was my occupation before I got married. Um, Am I married? Yes, I am happily and in lovingly married. I'm very happily married to my wonderful husband. Um, he is from the United States of America. He's born and bred in America and he is from Texas. So my husband is American and he's Tex He's a Texan. <laughs> Let me say that. He's a Texan. His question is, what is your occupation? Currently, I'm a stay-at-home mom. Ra -ta -ta -ta. Yeah, that's how I feel. It's the ghetto over here. Uh, I did not choose this life. This life chose me. <laughs> 
Honey, if you know me, you know that I am alpha female boss babe. You know, get the money, get the job. I am, I am that woman. So right now, I'm a stay-at-home mom. No, yes, um, I am also a an American military spouse. I don't know if y'all understand this, but so let me explain this for my South African subscribers. When you an American military spouse, you guys move so much and we've already moved three times in the course of four years. No, in the course of three years, we've already moved three times. So that's why I say it's so hard to, to stay in one place for like five years, six years, unless you're lucky. And also, um... Yeah, getting jobs and moving around don't go together. You, you. I think you get me. Let me know one drop, but I think you'll get me. Um. So, what are the places you've lived? So, the places I've lived in are South Africa, Bahrain, the United States, and currently we live in Japan. My favorite place lived is definitely um, Bahrain, just because I live my best life over there. I feel like um, when I moved over there, I was very young and I was not exposed to a lot of things. So when I got there, like it really exposed me to a lot of things that when you come from South Africa, you are not exposed to, you know, like the glitz, the glam, the chankura, because everyone is balling in the Middle East. And the buildings, the cars, the food, the aesthetics. And I feel like that's why people now tend to label me as bougie or or snobbish. Like that's what people honestly call me. Is because when I was there, I was getting a certain type of treatment. I was getting used to a certain type of lifestyle. And I was there for three years. So honestly, when I lived there, it was my best my best times my best years and it's a part of um it's a part of me now and i feel like it has groomed me to be who i am now and what i like now and just some values that i instilled in myself is because of the country Bahrain. so that is still the favorite pr place i've lived and i always hype that place up because it's just honestly the favorite pl my favorite place that i've lived at um favorite holiday I think it would be Jamaica because that's where I conceived my babies, that's where we got engaged. So Jamaica is my favorite holiday. Um, what inspires me? So what inspires me to start YouTube was literally nothing. People would just always tell me to start a YouTube channel. So many people was like, you should start YouTube, you start a YouTube, you should start a YouTube channel. So yeah. That's what inspired me was everyone telling me to start YouTube, including my husband. My husband like bought me all these um, equipment for YouTube, uh, and I was like, "Why are you buying this?" He's like, "If I don't get it for you, you're never gonna start a YouTube channel." So that's why I started. Um, favorite music? My favorite music. I think everyone knows this is Afro beats. I think in my past life I was West African. I'm not sure, but listen i love me some afro beats that's all i listen to in this house and that's all i i introduce to my kids is afro beats they love afro beats too um favorite artist my favorite artist has has to be my baby daddy burner boy yes my kids literally think that's their dad or they used to think that's their dad when they were babies i don't know why but my favorite artist artist is Burner. Favorite food? Um, anything that I cook, honestly, because I know how to cook. Ten out of ten, I know how to cook. And star sign. I'm an Aries, guys. Yes, and anything and everything they say about Aries, that's me. That is me. And uh, siblings. Mm, no, unfortunately, I have no siblings. I call my cousins, sisters, and brothers, but in real life, I don't have uh, any special talents. I don't know. The only thing I 
know is a special talent is that I can read people's energy and yeah I don't see that as a special talent I just maybe it is so yeah I can read people's energy like energy in the sense of how people feel towards me before they even say it so if I spend too much time with a certain person or a group of people I can sense the aura or the energy towards me and towards towards each other so that's my special talent yes guys those are the questions that I have for today and um, please like my videos because I need to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year that's my kids screaming they both up so um, yes 500 subscribers by the end of 2021 that's my mission and vision for this channel and if you're a subscriber I feel like that's our vision and mission together um, mm, I'm sorry I'm so thirsty it don't taste good though but yeah that's our vision and mission vision and mission for this channel um, honestly I'm just here to bring you guys content because I travel a lot so I want to show you how we travel, how we do it, the craziness of traveling with kids, um, fitness, because I'm super into fitness. I, as I said, I'm a sports scientist, or I studied sports science, so I know a lot about fitness and nutrition, and I implement it into my kids' life, my life, and I just want to give advice and tips. I'm not a doctor, but I would love to to give more advice and put more eating and just healthy content out there as well and then also um i love fashion i don't know why but hauls you're always gonna see a haul on my channel <laughs> thank you guys for watching my videos thank you for subscribing i really appreciate it do share my videos because we have a mission and a vision on my channel so yes let me go because my baby are calling me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and stay safe. Bye, guys. Bye.